Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today I'm doing a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics in natural light. The thing I love about e.l.f. is you can get a really kind of natural look like I have on today where I'm just kind of enhancing my features, and you can really get full on full coverage with e.l.f. It's very versatile, it's very affordable, and as you guys know, I love that you can get them at the drugstore. So there's some products today that I'm gonna talk about that you will know, you will recognize, I've raved about them, and then there's some products that are newer to me, maybe not new launches, but then we've also got some new launches, like the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and let me tell you, I have some thoughts on this CC cream. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this full face in natural light using only e.l.f. cosmetics, go ahead and keep watching. So the first product we're gonna go in with is the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. I've been using this for probably a year and a half and I do really like it. I love the consistency. It's really kind of thick and lotion-y. So if you have dry skin, this works really well. And I can definitely see a bit of plumpness to the skin after I put it on. So that's it for the primer. Typically I'll let my primer sink in for like five, 10 minutes, but I just don't have the time today. But this one is really nice because it absorbs really quickly and there's like no tack to it. But like I said, it makes your skin look plump and it makes it feel really hydrated. So that's a really good drugstore primer option. So next up, we're going in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I've been testing this for a while and I have some thoughts on it. So I have two shades, I have Fair 140W and Light 240W, and I have to mix them to get my perfect shade. Of course they can work on their shade range. I mean, in all honesty, most companies can work on their shade ranges, but I just wanna show you how thick this is. That's important because you do not wanna go overboard with this one. I have no Botox in my face right now, so see how that wrinkle really kind of stands out. I'm actually getting Botox Monday, so I, I might have different thoughts on this after then, but if you go in too heavy with this, it's gonna sink into your fine lines. So I'm gonna try to keep it really light. I, I have a ton left on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take what's on my finger and kind of coat the brush. This is their new brush, the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. It's kind of a dupe for the IT Cosmetics brush, just a lot more affordable. And I do like it, but like I was saying, if I go in too heavy with this, it just really kind of sinks into my lines and I think that's because it's a thicker formula. Thinner formulas don't tend to do that on my skin and that's why it's so important when you do or you watch a first impressions video to keep in mind, those are first impressions because when I first tried this, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. This is the best thing I've ever tried. And then I tried it a couple more times and it was starting to really kind of sink into my fine lines. And that's because I'm very expressive, first of all. And again, I don't have any Botox, so I think using a lighter hand is important with this and then always keep that in mind as well when you watch people on YouTube really heavily apply products. Do they have filler? Do they have Botox? It all makes a difference. I have no problems with filler or Botox at all. It's just something that will make a difference when it comes to your makeup and, and when you watch it. So it's all about you know figuring out what works for you. The other thing about this is when I'm dry, like if I use a little too much retinol, this will definitely emphasize any dryness really up here a lot. So I'm trying to keep it extra light up here. You guys know I like my skin to look like skin. I'm not trying to make myself look like a different person. I'm just kind of trying to emphasize what I have, see how much is left. And that was one pump on the back of my hand and I pretty much have the coverage I'm looking for at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my AOA Studio Paw Paw Sponge. This sponge is $1.55 and amazing. I prefer this over any high-end sponge. And I'm just gonna, and I don't have anything on this, I'm just gonna kind of press everything in and take away any excess coverage. Again, because I just don't want it to sink into my fine lines. So with everything said, I do like this foundation a lot. Do I like it more than my ColourPop Pretty Fresh? 
Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. No, that works a little bit better for my skin. I'm usually not a CC BB cream type of person as it is. And I don't think that this is like as radiant and glowy as I've seen a lot of reviews say it is unless you use a radiant glowy kind of primer under it but i do like it i think it's nice i think it's good coverage they do need to work on the shade range of course it does last on the skin a while but again if you go in too heavy it's going to sink into those fine lines so now that i have my cc cream on and again my skin is looking like skin it's not too heavy i'm going to go in with the elf rider dye lip balm to just prep my lips i like to do this after foundation because sometimes i get foundation on my lips this stuff is so nice. If you're familiar with the Bite Beauty Agave Nectar lip stuff, which I've never used, I hear this is a dupe for that. It's really thick. If you're not into thick lip balms, you won't like this, but it's really hydrating. I love using this before bed and waking up with really plump lips. So next up, we've got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. This is not new to my channel at all. I use this every single day. By far the favorite concealer of 2020. It is really all I use. If I'm not using this, I might go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Again, hydrating blah, blah, blah concealer. But I really, really like this. Really nice coverage. Lasts all day. And I'm going to use that same brush and just kind of blend it out. And then again, I'll stipple over with the Beauty Blender. You guys know I don't want to like completely conceal everything because again i want my skin to look like skin and if i go in too heavy under my eyes with concealer again it's going to emphasize all of my fine lines and wrinkles because i have a lot of them under there i've never had filler under there and i'm definitely lacking in the sleep department like most of us are so just keep in mind you really don't need to go in with a ton of product when you're using something full coverage like this a little bit goes a really long way so again, I'm just going to take my sponge, look up, and kind of tap all of that in. You know, a sponge doesn't just have to be used to apply product. It can be used, obviously, to blend things in and also take away any extra coverage that you really don't need. I know that sounds so polar opposite from what, you know, most of the beauty videos, not all of them, but a lot of them kind of demonstrate, but... Once you get comfortable, I guess, using a little bit less, you'll start to feel, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess there's a process. I like look back on my videos and I see myself using like that Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation all over. I would never at this point. I think that's something that's kind of come with age as well. I'm 32. I started YouTube back when I was like 18, posted a couple of videos, quit, and then started again I wanna say five years ago, and there's such a difference in what I do now from them because I've just become so much more comfortable in my skin. And there's definitely, you know, a process to that, but definitely more of a minimalist makeup person now. But that's the beauty of these products from e.l.f. is if you are into more full coverage, if that's your jam, totally fine. You can get full coverage with the CC cream and the concealer as well. It's very versatile. So this is the skin. Just looks like my skin. You can still see some of my imperfections, but totally okay with that. So let's move on to the next product. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed Primer Infused Bronzer. I've got mixed feelings on this. It's a little warm and it's very, very pigmented. So you have to be kind of careful. Like don't put too much on your brush. I'm gonna grab this Japanesque brush, the 716, and just tap one, twice. I'm gonna tap twice really make sure I you know, knock off any excess. And I'm just gonna kinda hit right here. So again, if you like a really, really bronzer, bronzer kinda look, you can definitely get that with this bronzer. But if you're like me and you like it to be a little more natural, go easy. It's definitely got more of like a reddish undertone. I don't know, sometimes it looks kind of orangey sometimes like i feel like on this side it looks a little orangey on this side it looks a little red i don't know it's i i have mixed feelings on it sometimes i'm like yes that's really nice it's really affordable that's good and it blends out really easy but sometimes i feel like the color just doesn't flatter me what in the heck is in my hair guys i've been laying on the floor with george 
if you don't watch my vlogs, we had a, a health scare with George and I'm going to do a whole vlog on it and I don't want to talk about it too much in this video because this isn't about that, but I've been laying on the floor constantly with George. So give me a break on the appearance. I know we're looking rough, especially in the hair. <laughs> you know what? Today, I really, really like this. I think that looks super, super flattering. Full disclosure, I just cleaned all of my brushes, so that may have a little bit of a difference in why I was feeling like I was kind of on the fence on that, but now that I have a clean brush, I think that looks really, really nice and flattering, and I made sure to go in with a light hand. I think that's key, again, with this product because she is super pigmented. So next up, we're gonna go in with blush. This is the e.l.f. Blush Palette in Light. I love that they have such an affordable palette with a mirror with four different shades. That is amazing. I don't know. I mean, I do know how e.l.f. does it. I think their packaging is, you know, pretty cheap, which is, you know, I don't really care. I'm not like super aggressive. I think I'm going to go in with this one and maybe a little bit of this one. I don't want to go in with too much of the pinkies. These are very, very pigmented. Again, go in with a light hand. In fact, I don't think I'm going to use my Japanese brush. Well, I am going to use a Japanese brush, but I'm going to go in with this one. That's kind of like the NARS Kumidori or whatever, because this doesn't apply so heavy. This brush, this is also Japanese. It's a 722. It's a lot more dense than this guy. So if you're going in with a really pigmented product and you want to make sure you don't go overboard, go in with, you know, more of a fluffy brush. So that's what I'm going to do. I just barely, barely, you know, dabbed into it and there's a ton of product. So I've completely lost my train of thought on what I was saying before. Oh, packaging. I think that, you know, they're able to keep their prices down because their packaging is really affordable. All right, hang on. I got to I got to do this and then and then talk. See how intense that is? Like and I barely touched my face. I need to take my sponge and go over it to really blend it in. I'm just not used to using blushes. Like can you see how much um kick up is in the pan? It's really pigmented, but you gotta be careful. But yeah, I think they can keep their prices down because their packaging is just cheap. And they're probably not using, you know, super expensive ingredients in their formula. I wish this blush was a little easier to use. It's definitely not my favorite. Like, it kind of gets a little splotchy, I guess. Can you see how it's like gripping right there? And I'm not dry right there or anything. It's not my favorite thing in the world, and I know a lot of people really, really love it. It's just a little too splotchy and a little too pigmented for me. And I do like more of a kind of baked blush personally. I would probably skip this one. It's not gonna be one that I grab for a lot in the future. I'll probably end up either giving it to a friend or donating it. But I do, like I said, love that they have four different shades in a palette with a mirror. I, you can't beat it. I think this is like six bucks. I had to switch positions. My feet were falling asleep to the point that I couldn't feel them. So we're sitting a little bit lower. But I was in the middle of saying that I'm not a huge blush person. I like a little bit of blush to look healthy, but I, I don't like to go overboard. So that might be why I'm not that into that palette. But one palette I am into is their Illuminating palette. I, I think this is the light one. I think they may have had a light and a dark, but very, very natural looking highlights. I'm gonna go in with these two. It's not gonna make you look overly highlighted. So if you like more of just kind of a lit with, from within glow, that's what this is gonna do. I think it kind of looks a little more intense on camera than it actually does in real life. It's not glittery at all. It just looks really healthy. The word that comes to mind is candlelight glow with this one for some reason. I don't know. It's really pretty. I like it. I like it for a nice little understated kind of highlight situation that looks nice and healthy. Next up, brows. So I picked up their Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I picked up the shade Neutral Brown, just like I have in their Wow Brow. You guys know I am obsessed with their Wow Brow on a daily basis. That's really all I use. It gives you, you know, some fibers, so it looks 
really really good but i do want to add a little bit of this to kind of fill in right here where you know i'm a little sparse with my brow hairs this guy is really pigmented so so be careful you can go overboard really easy so i'm gonna use a really really light hand and i'm just gonna fill in a little bit My camera died, so I had to let the battery charge for about 20 minutes, which isn't a bad thing because now you can see how the makeup is wearing. That was another thing that I forgot to mention. I do feel like the longer I wear the CC cream, the better it looks on my face. It kind of warms up and, and just looks nicer. So you guys can kind of see that. You could see a little bit more of like the glow coming through now. I really, really like that. George is back there licking his paws. I cannot stand that sound, but I'm going to try to work through it, and I hope you guys can too since he has been not feeling so good. So all I did was fill in the brows with the brow pencil. You guys can see I don't go overboard. I only fill where I need to. And now we're going to go in with my absolute favorite product from e.l.f. I discovered this last year, and I have turned so many people onto it. It's the e.l.f. Wow Brow, again, in neutral brown. It just really makes you look like you have thicker brows it oops it comes off really easy so you could see I like that about it it's not gonna really like stain your skin let me grab a closer mirror so I could see what I'm doing if you go against the grain of your brow so if you like you know kind of brush downwards and inwards it's gonna give you even more volume I'll usually do that when I'm not filling in the brows but since I filled them in I'm just gonna kind of brush them into place now but this is just such a good product and the neutral brown color is I mean see the difference I mean it obviously looks better since they're brushed up and those ones aren't but if you like that boy brow model brow look and you don't want to spend a crap ton of money this is all you need I think it's four dollars from L for Target or CVS and just beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. See the difference? So that's the brows complete. And you guys might not like as fluffy of a brow as I do, but for less than $10 with the two of these, or maybe $10, I can't remember the price of the brow pencil, you can't get better. I mean, come on. That looks as good as high end. So let's work on eyes. I have a couple of different eye products from e.l.f. that I love. I really like their no budge shadow sticks for like a one and done kind of eyeshadow situation. I'll probably end up doing that today because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just not that into eyeshadow again. I go through these waves where I'm like, yeah, I'm really into it. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm really into it. No, I'm really not. But my eyes have been super, super watery. I get really, really really bad allergies so I'm probably gonna go with this but I'm trying to talk too fast like my brain is going too fast my mouth can't keep up you guys know I love the bite size eyeshadow so much every single one is amazing and the elf retro paradise palette is beautiful as well I think they do a really good job with most of their eye products I did get a palette from them in the past it was like their it was like one of their black palettes that were big like this and I wasn't super into it so I do want to go in and add just a little bit into my crease area to start. So I'm just going to grab my bronzer and go ahead and do that. That's the thing with cream shadows you want to keep in mind. If you're going in with a cream shadow, if you have hooded eyes like I do, I prefer to go in with my like crease color first and lay that down. So then I kind of have kind of like a, a guideline for where I want to put my cream shadow. I'm also gonna take a pencil brush with the bronzer and just work that under the eyes as well. All right, so I'm gonna grab my No Budge Shadow Stick in the shade Bronze Metal, and you can apply this right on the eyelid, but I'm gonna take a Smith 230 brush, and I'm gonna kind of pick up some color on the brush, and I'm gonna go in this way so I have a nice light wash of color. I find if I go in with just the stick, I sometimes get a little too much buildup and then I have to work really hard to blend it out and that's not what I'm about. <laughs> I'm about keeping it easy and lazy. So I am kind of starting, you know, closer to the lid and then I'll just start to kind of blend that up, adding product as needed. I mean, it doesn't get easier. It, it doesn't get easier. And then I'm gonna grab my pencil brush again, pick up a little bit of color 
and place that under the eye as well, but I'm only gonna bring that about two thirds of the way in. So that's all we're gonna do with the cream shadow. I do wanna add just a little more like pizzazz. So I am gonna take, I think the Retro Paradise palette, cause this kind of has a cool like blue green duo effect to it. This is Periso, I think. And I'm gonna pick that up with my finger and I'm just gonna kind of lightly place that over the top of the cream shadow to add a little more, you know, pizzazz. Wow, that's so pretty. That is such a pretty color. There is a little bit of fallout with that one, specifically on this side, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I always say this, when I wear glitter, I just kind of commit to wearing the glitter. So next I'm gonna go in with the No Budge Retractable Liner in Coffee. Be careful if you have contacts though, because it sometimes can transfer if you add a little too much. All right, and then just because I have it and I wanna kinda use all these products, I'm gonna grab the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Cream and Sugar, and I'm gonna grab this guy right here on an angled brush, and I'm gonna push that up on the lower lash line and push it into the upper lash line as well. There is kind of a lot of glitter fallout with that Pariso whatever. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably should have done eyes first. All right, and I do not have an e.l.f. mascara. Every store I went to had zero mascaras left from e.l.f. I don't know why, so I couldn't pick one up, but either way, really the only mascara I ever wanna use that works for my eyes, it doesn't make my eyes water, is the Thrive Cosmetics Brin Liquid Lash Extension. So really either way, I'd probably be going in with this because I just, I really like it. So I know it's not e.l.f., but it's the only thing that works for me. So I'm gonna give my lashes a quick curl and pop this on. I had a little bit of a malfunction with my mascara. I went in and I haven't applied mascara in forever and I just went and got it all over my lid and I didn't wait for it to dry so you could still kind of see it a little bit right there. Honestly, I don't care. I tried to make up for it by going in with cacao in the palette, the dark brown shade to kind of add a little bit of depth but you know, it happens to the best of us. Let's just move on, right? Okay, let's move on to the lips. I think I'm gonna go in with the Seriously Satin Nectar color. I do like these. I wish they were a little more glossy, but honestly, I don't have that many e.l.f. lip products and I do like this, so I'm just gonna kinda dab this on so it doesn't go in too, or go on too intensely. And I don't have a lip liner from e.l.f. Do you guys know of any good liners? If you do, please leave it down below. On top of that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in Touch of Pink. And as you can see, I'm really just kinda like dabbing them on. Look at George back there. <laughs> What a strange way to sit. <laughs> that is it for this one, you guys. This is the full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's super comfortable. I really don't feel like I have anything on my face at all, which is super important. I still look like me, just a little emphasized, which is what I like. I think you guys got a feel for how I felt about these products throughout the video. I was kind of giving you my review, so I won't go through all of them again, but let me know what you thought of this video. Do you like these one brand affordable videos? Do you want me to keep doing them? What do you wanna see next? Let me know your favorite e.l.f. product as well. I really like e.l.f. as a brand. I love that they're cruelty free. I love that they have so many products. I feel like they're in every area of like beauty. They have skincare, they have makeup, they have brushes, they have so much stuff. So let me know your favorite e.l.f. product down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.